Hello, child of God. Do you remember when Hollywood put together the movie The Perfect Storm? Well, in The Perfect Storm, several different terrible hurricanes and storms merged together to become one massive, horrible, perfect storm that attacked the East Coast of the United States and devastated. And prophetically speaking, we also have a perfect storm coming together, manifested during the season of these four blood red moons. We're looking at the probable eruption of the Yellowstone volcano. We're looking at the rise of ISIS and a war that will continue on for years that we cannot afford. We're looking at the probable collapse of the entire economy of the United States during 2015 and then worldwide depression after that. But we're also looking at some other prophetic events that are manifesting today. Israel is being forced to attack Iran's nuclear weapons program in order to defend itself from total nuclear devastation. And Iran is one of the nations that will attack Israel in the Gog and Magog war, which is only a breath away. There are reports that the P5 plus 1 countries are close to a deal with Iran on Iran's nuclear program. Uh, I've instructed my office to send a letter to the foreign ministers of the P5 plus 1 countries. In that letter, I bring verbatim the words of Iran's ruler, Ayatollah Khamenei, the leader of this country that is depicted by some as moderate, the Islamic State of Iran, has said in the last 48 hours one, that he calls for the annihilation of Israel. His words, not mine. Two, he gives nine ways and reasons of how and why Israel should be annihilated. His words, not mine. He is publicly calling for the annihilation of Israel as he's negotiating a nuclear deal with the P5 plus 1 countries. There is no moderation in Iran. It is unrepentant, unreformed, it calls for Israel's eradication. It promotes international terrorism. And as the IAEA report just said, it continues to deceive the international community about its nuclear weapons program. This terrorist regime in Iran must not be allowed to become a nuclear threshold power. And I call on the P5 plus 1 countries, don't rush into a deal that would let Iran rush to the bomb. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. Almighty God can see Satan totally defeated and being punished in the lake of fire. The Lord Jesus Christ defeated Satan on the cross, and now we must each defeat Satan with the blood of the Lamb, the words of our testimony, and die in the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is, to love the Lord Jesus Christ more than we love our own life. The Lord Jesus Christ spoke to each of us concerning these end-time events in the New Testament book of Luke. Heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. The instructions the Lord Jesus Christ gave us is that we should pray that we are able to stand before the Son of Man. My friend, no one is able to stand before the Son of Man unless he is washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are none righteous, no, not one. We have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Let us pray now together and ask Almighty God to forgive our sin and wash us in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Just follow after me in prayer, but pray with your own faith and your own sincerity. Father God, that's right, just pray in faith after me. Father God, I ask you now to forgive all of my sin and wash me in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and make me holy unto you. Baptize me now in the Holy Spirit and give me more power to resist temptations. I acknowledge that the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross to pay for my sin and is soon to return. I forgive all of those people that I have resented or hated and I receive from you the free gift of salvation. I dedicate my life and commit my spirit to you. I ask you now to keep me strong in the time of testing and help me to stand before the Son of Man. I receive that as done. Amen. Thank you for praying with me, child of God. 